rational numbers versus irrational numbers. Let's do this. A decimal that terminates is rational. There's a definite end to it. Repeating decimals are rational, even though they don't stop. And plain old integers, also rational. Now let's look at what's not. Irrational numbers are tricky little fellows. They think they're clever. Endless decimals that do not repeat. They just go on forever. Now check these examples. Tell me if they're rational or irrational. Four and one tenth. That's, that's rational. rational. Negative ten. That's, that's rational. rational. Twenty-three and forty-five hundredths. That's, that's rational, rational too. too. How about zero point three 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 three? Uh, yeah, that's rational too. Pi is an endless decimal. So that's irrational. The square root of two is endless as well. So that's irrational. Rational numbers versus irrational numbers. Let's do this. A decimal that terminates is rational. There's a definite end to it. Repeating decimals are rational, even though they don't stop. And plain old integers also rational. Now let's look at what's not. Irrational numbers are tricky little fellows. They think they're clever. Endless decimals that do not repeat. They just go on forever.